Hi everyone and welcome back to another One Kit 10 Cards. This time I'm going to introduce you to the June Card Kit by Simon Says Stamp and make 10 cards plus one more. Now this kit is a great stash builder, there are awesome uh, products in the kit. You get the kit for uh, $29.99 if you are a monthly subscriber. If you aren't then you can grab it for $34.99. By the way, this kit is one of the best they have come up with. You will see that they give you amazing products. So first of all, they give you a mini bottle of uh, the new Distress Resist Spray by Tim Holtz to try it out. You also get a swatch of uh, three Daniel Smith watercolors. These are the best out there and uh, it's a great opportunity for you to try them out, see if you like them and uh, decide what colors you want to buy. And I love that you get red, blue and yellow since these are the primary colors which means that you can mix them up and create pretty much every color in the rainbow. Now in the kit you also get two envelopes in matching colors to everything included and uh, what is the best about this kit is that they give you a really big 8x6 stamp set which is called beautiful flowers with this beautiful flower arrangement you can see how big it is it's going to cover up completely a standard card size and you get three separate flowers which are actually the same as the ones in the flower arrangement so you can cut them out and pop them on top of the arrangement if you like and use them separately of course it is packed with sentiments so I think you will have lots of fun with this uh, stamp set creating uh, cards for pretty much any occasion now another amazing product is one of the new 3D embossing folders by C6 and this is designed by Tim Holtz I'm super excited about this product since I don't have it at my stash and make sure to hold on to the package since there are instructions on how to put together the sandwich. Now you also get this watercolor paper that you can color and create a card out of it and you get a pack of beautiful papers. You will see these designs. These are 6x6 and they are from Moda Scrap. This is an Italian company and um, I want you to check them out. They have beautiful, really beautiful designs. And you can see how wonderful these are with those loose flowers and watercolor backgrounds. This really make your life easy when it comes to create cards because all you need to do is to just cut out a piece of paper, stick it on your card base and just stamp a sentiment. They are so beautiful on their own. Now you also get cardstock, a mirror gold one. You get also a white and three more colored ones. I usually cut them in half and score them to create my card bases. Instead, I'm going to save the mirror one so that I can use it on top of my panels and I'm going to just add one more cardstock from my stash for creating all the 10 card bases. So here we go, let's start with the first card and for that I just had to stamp this beautiful flower arrangement. I stamped it with uh, black ink that is alcohol friendly and I'm coloring everything with my alcohol markers by Nuvo. If you love coloring, this is a beautiful stamp set for you since you will be able to practice your skills with uh, many different mediums in this beautiful flower arrangement. And I'm going to color all the flowers in the same color. I'm going for a birthday card here that I wanted to keep quite elegant and um, I'm using the corals set now from the Nuvo. If you want to see a um, product review in these markers there is one in my channel and as you can see i'm using the classic technique i'm uh, working on one petal at a time starting with a lighter color adding my shading with the middle and the darker one and then go all the way back to the lighter color before I stick this panel on my card base, I decided to add a strip of uh, black cardstock on one side just to add some more interest there I'm keeping it simple so all I have to do is to just stick this panel on top of my card base and stamp the sentiment. I went with the happy birthday sentiment since I'm always in need of birthday cards and I stuck this panel on top of my card base with a foam tape at the back. Now I'm adding a little bit of uh, clear Nouveau drops. This is actually morning dew. And I'm adding uh, little drops here and there just to make those flowers look more fresh. And this is going to complete the first card for today.
and on to the second card and again I'm going to use the same stamp, this is so gorgeous, I decided to create four different cards using it, just to inspire you. This time I'm going to stamp with Versa marking, and you will notice that instead of uh, stamping totally clear, it's going to leave uh, an impression there, and that's just because I didn't clean my stamp well from the first card. But that's not a problem, since I'm going to apply gold embossing powder on top, and it's going to completely cover it up. In fact, it was better because I could see that everything was stamped nicely. So here I'm applying my gold embossing powder, I'm going to tap off the excess and heat set it with my heat gun. After melting the embossing powder, I went ahead and stamped the sentiment, and of course you could have done all the stamping and embossing in one step, but I didn't know what to, I wanted to do in the beginning. So I went with a sentiment that says, you are a treasure to me, and uh, again I'm going to keep pretty much all of the cards, quite simple and easy to recreate, and I am trying to use supplies that are included in the kit, except from some exceptions, such as this embossing powder for example, but these are basic um, supplies that you probably all have in your stash. Now I have a panel of this uh, golden mirrored cardstock, which is the size of a standard card and it's going to provide a beautiful frame around my panel and finish it off. I'm adding some Nouveau drops with gold Nouveau and uh, all you have to do to finish it off is to just stick this panel on top of a card base. And again for the third card I'm going to use the same stamp and give you one more idea. I definitely suggest you to check out this stamp set, I know you will all love it and it is still available, so if you don't want to get the kit, maybe you want to check out just the stamp set. So here again I'm working with uh, the stamp, I have uh, stamped everything with my Versa marking, I'm applying my white embossing powder, and by the way this time I'm working on a watercolor paper, so I'm going to melt the powder and then color everything with the um, samples that were included in the kit. The idea here is to keep everything quite monochromatic and uh, I want to apply blue color at the bottom where the stamped image is. So I'm holding the paper uh, up so that I can catch the light and see uh, up to where this image goes. I'm also going to spray lightly at the bottom of the paper with water which is going to help my uh, watercolor to spread evenly and easily and the idea here is to have first a very light uh, color only at the bottom that fades out as I go towards the top and as I go to the top I'm making sure that my brush is clean so that I can uh, make this uh, watercolor look as if it's fading out now that I have my base color I can go ahead and add more details on the flowers and the leaves just to help them pop a little bit more but I'm keeping everything quite simple so all I do is just steeping my brush directly on the color which is quite concentrated as you can see and just because I'm working on top of a uh, wet paper, just by touching the brush there, everything spreads nicely and creates the shadows that I like. I'm going to add shadows on all the petals of the flowers as well as on the leaves. This is going to help the design pop against the background, but at the same time it's going to uh, have this loose watercolor look that I was going for. To complete the look with the same watercolors, I'm going to add some splashes. I'm going to stick this on a card base that I created from the cardstock in the kit. And you can see how wonderful this uh, color, the watercolor uh, matches the cardstock that was in the kit, which is one thing that I love about uh, card kits. They make all the hard work for you. I also looked inside my stash to find an ink that I had that matched pretty much the colors of the cardstock and stamp uh, my little banner that says Love and Hacks. And of course, with, since I'm obsessed with uh, Nouveau Drops, I'm just adding drops here and there. Now for the next card I'm going to stamp the three flowers that are uh, stand-on flowers from the stamp set 
The, again, I wanted to let you know that these flowers match perfectly the flowers in the stem that has the big flower arrangement. So you can color them, you can cut them, and you can uh, pop them on top of the big flower arrangement if you want to have some uh, dimension. But for this card, I'm just going to color them with the watercolor sample from the kit. And again, here is my quick method of coloring uh, flowers. So first of all, I have wet the surface. This is watercolor paper. I just sprayed all over the place. Now I'm applying a first base color very lightly. And I don't care if I go outside the lines because I will be using my scissors and fuzzy cut all the flowers. Now again, just like I did with the previous card, I am adding shading just by touching the brush directly on the concentrated uh, color and then dabbing my brush wherever I need to add shadows mainly at the base of the petals and uh, where the petals meet you can see that as I add uh, lots of concentrated color just because the paper is wet this is going to spread out nicely and it's going to do the hard work for you Quick and simple and really pretty result. Now everything is colored and I really love the outcome. I'm going to use my scissors to fuzzy cut everything. I'm cutting everything directly where the line is without leaving any white space around it. Now I want to create some green stems. So I'm going to mix the blue with the yellow. And create my very own shade of green. And then I'm just going to spread it all over my watercolor paper. And out of this watercolor paper, I'm going to cut out thin strips of paper, which are going to provide the stems for my card. So I have my white card base here. I have some uh, foam tape at the back of all those flowers. I'm going to decide where everything is going to go and stick everything down. Now I'm going to double up the foam tape on the third flower, so it's going to stand even higher than the rest of the flowers. And I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of these stems and stick those down. Off camera I created my uh, sentiment that says love and hugs. This is just a uh, white embossed on a piece of uh, black cardstock. And I have uh, glued down with some uh, foam tape so it does have dimension too, just like the flowers. Finishing touches again by using my white Nouveau. And my card is finished. Now I'm going to show you a different idea on how you can use this panel rather than just coloring and stick it on top of a card base. You can see that you can separate easily those two areas of the sentiments and the flowers and I found out that you can either draw a line and cut it out with your scissors but this die works great as well. So I'm using this die on this beautiful pattern paper. I'm going to run it through my Big Shot and you can see here that I end up having a panel that covers up completely the area with the design. So I use the same die to cut out a little piece from the gold mirrored cardstock that was included in the kit and now I'm going to put everything together. So this gold uh, uh, cardstock is going to provide a little touch of shine, separating uh, the two areas. I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick everything together, making sure that as I apply the panel on top, it's going to cover up completely the design underneath. And then I'm going to use my scissors and cut off the excess. Now all you need to do is to stick this panel on top of a standard card base. I'm adding some finishing touches with my Nouveau drops. You know I'm obsessed with those. And of course you can color in the words flowers grow. Just make sure that you use uh, colors that match nicely the colors of the pattern paper.
Now for the next card I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper. I believe that this can uh, stand as it is on top of a card to create a beautiful card, just stamp a sentiment. But I'm going to show you a great tip on how to turn it into a dimensional card since you know that I love dimension and just can't keep anything completely flat. So the height on this panel is five and a half, so that's uh, going to completely cover up the card front, but uh, the width is uh, four instead of four and a quarter. So you can see I end up having uh, lovely borders on the sides. Now don't throw away what's left from this pattern paper. I am going to cut out uh, the buildings using my scissors, making sure that I cut them out uh, nicely. And now I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and just stick those buildings at the front of my card. This is going to provide an extra layer of buildings at the front with dimension and it's going to turn this uh, flat pattern paper into the next level. So here I have one more building, foam tape at the back and stick it on top. And I was actually able to cut out four different buildings from the leftovers. So you will see here the result. Nice and dimensional. And for the sky I'm going to cut out the extra hot air balloon. And I'm going to stick it with foam tape on top of my sky, covering up the, the other same colored balloon. So you can see all the dimension. For my sentiment, I'm going with the tiny little things that was included in the stamp set. And I made sure that I attach it on my block on a curve, so it follows the curve of the balloon. And my card is complete. And now let's move on playing with the pattern papers and show you even more ideas on how you can use those to turn them into cards. Now I have cut out a panel from this beautiful pattern paper and uh, I'm going to stamp a sentiment combining sentiments from the stamp set that will end up saying wishing you happy birthday. Of course you can stamp your sentiment with black at the center. You can also use embossing powders to add some shine. I decided to look through my stash and try to find uh, ink pads that match the colors of the flowers. So I'm stamping uh, every part of the sentiment in a different color just for the fun of it. Now you can call this card done or you can add an extra element of dimension like I'm doing here. So instead of uh, throwing away this beautiful flower from a scrap piece that I have from a previous card, I'm just using my scissors to fuzzy cut it and I'm cutting out the flower along with the leaves, making my life easy. I'm adding a little white border all around it. And now I can use my foam tape and stick it directly on top of my card. And my card is finished. Now let's make a fun shaker card using pattern papers. So I have cut out this beautiful pattern paper with the stripes to be a four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm cutting out a circle at the center. And as you can see, I'm not leaving anything to go to waste. I'm going to cut out this beautiful flower composition, which was actually printed at the front page of the pattern paper. As I cut it out, again, I leave a white border and uh, the colors on this flower composition, of course, match perfectly the colors on my striped paper. So I'm going to put those two papers together and I have a lovely element at the bottom of my little window. So now at the back I'm adding tape adhesive, I'm going to stick on top a piece of acetate. And I'm also going to use my foam tape to go all around that window to create a little pocket for my confetti to nest inside. Now for my shaker elements I'm going to mix three different products by Nuvo and these are the hot pink stars, the diamond and the purple organza butterflies. These are really awesome products. You can get them in packs of three and you can also get them separately. I really love those uh, jars. And here I actually mixed up three different uh, jars just because I wanted to introduce colors that are actually on the pattern paper. And I really like my handy tool because it allows me to add as much of uh, that, that mix as I like without making a mess on my table. 
I covered up the window with my card base and my card is finished, all that's left to do is to add the sentiment. For the sentiment I just created a little banner there and stamped uh, the sentiment love and hugs from the same stamp set and my card is finished. Now I'm going to play with the resist spray. I have uh, placed my pattern paper inside the box and I'm lightly misting from one side to the pattern paper. Make sure that you do this inside the box, something to contain the spray. This is glue and it's going to stick all over the place. So I'm going to apply my gold embossing powder now and you will see that it's going to stick wherever that spray went. I like the fact that uh, with embossing powders this is the only product that you can end up with such an organic and random background. And here is the finished result after melting all the powder. And of course there are many more techniques that you can use with your distress resist spray. Now I have some of these uh, mirrored cardstock left over so I'm going to mat my panel with that which means that I am going to trim the edges making sure that I end up with a lovely thin border all around it. I'm adding tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base and I already love the look of it just as it is but I'm going to embellish it even more and I'm going to turn this card into a next level by adding of course some dimension. So from this pattern paper I'm going to fuzzy cut three of the balloons and then with foam squares at the back I'm going to stick them on my panel. And if you follow my videos, my one uh, kit 10 cards features, you probably know by now that I always try to make the most out of the products in the kit, making sure that I use up pretty much all the pattern papers. So here is another little thank you card ready to go. And now let's play with the embossing folder included in the kit. I'm going to make the correct sandwich, so make sure that you have your standard platform, then place the embossing powder and on top just one cutting plate. So here I'm not using two cutting plates, only one at the top. And you get a beautiful, really embossed, deep embossed result. And I repeated the same process on a white cardstock and look at all that detail that you get. So here I'm going to use the black embossed one and this time I'm going to apply some Nouveau Mousse. I'm uh, working the mousse with my blending tool and I'm very lightly going over the design making sure that I touch only the raised areas and you can see how quickly and easily you get this gorgeous effect. Of course, of course you can go ahead and add some uh, more color at the edges to frame your background nicely. It looks really gorgeous and I'm considering this my plus one to 10 cards today. So I'm not going to turn it into a card, I just wanted to throw you the idea of how gorgeous it looks when uh, you do this technique on top. And um, all you need to do on the other card is just stick a die cut sentiment on top and you have a beautiful card there. Now for my finished card now I'm working with the white embossed one, I have cut it on an angle, I am embellishing it with just a thin strip of the golden cardstock. This is going to be very clean and simple, I have stamped my sentiment and white embossed it directly on my card base and the sentiment says love and hugs from the same stamp set. So I'm putting everything together, just adding some tape adhesive at the back and you can see that I add that uh, very thin strip of uh, golden paper where those two colors meet. I'm using my scissors to make everything look nice and neat and I'm going to finish it off by adding some dots of uh, white nouveau in different areas on this embossed paper. You can leave it as it is of course, but I always like to add little details like this. They really bring everything together and they add an extra element and different texture on my card. And finally here is a quick look on all the 10 cards that I made for today, making the most out of the June card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And don't forget to try out the extra background that I show you where you use the Nouveau Mousse over the embossed cardstock. Here are some close-up photos on all the cards that I made for today. 
There is also a giveaway running on my blog, so for a chance to win this card kit, make sure to visit and leave me a comment there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, so you won't miss another video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow with a really fun art journaling event. Wish you all a lovely day!